well, if we put them in the middle vent, I got the heater. So, turn the heater on them. So we just got the combine back together. We've been broke down for a little over a week now, waiting for parts and also waiting on weather. The combine's been sitting here for just about a week and we just got it back together today. I went and ran for uh, parts. Ended up being the hydrostatic drive pump or main drive pump. I don't know if I'm saying that right. That decided to break on us uh, a week ago and uh, yeah, just waiting for that to show up in the mail. It never showed up, so I went for a bit of a drive this morning, six hour round trip, and uh, found one, so. While I was getting the part, Dad and the service tech came here and started pulling the old pump off the combine, and then by the time I got here, they had that off, and uh, timed out pretty good. They were only waiting around like 10, 15 minutes. Combine's been sitting here, uh, it was pretty wet then and now it's even worse today had a lot of rain over the weekend and uh, Had to tow his truck out to the combine So had to unhook the green cart out in the field I used it as a tow vehicle, but that's okay. It's empty and only takes a minute to hook up Got the green car hooked up and the service truck was leaving and it looks like he got stuck again so pull him out real quick his tires are loaded up from being drug in the field we had to drag him out in the field we couldn't drive the combine up to the grass here um that pump being broke and we couldn't even move the combine so it was dead where it sat until it got fixed so i'll get him tow it out again real quick only have about 20 acres left to do on this farm and i'm hoping we can just get moved out of here. The conditions are not good at all for cutting soybeans. Um, it is the middle of October now, so like us, many people are starting to get desperate of getting beans off. I talked to a couple of people, they're gone, um, but the moisture is not good. It's pretty high. It's like over 18%. And you're not like pulling from the front end of the tractor like this, but this truck isn't super heavy so it'll be okay too muddy to drive the 
green card around in the field and catch on the go, especially with the 8100. Lots of standing water today. Try not to go too fast to the other field. I start throwing mud up on the tractor from the tires. But yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, we're just hoping to get this farm done at this point and get the machines moved out of here. They've been sitting here way too long. Um, not our best farm location we have. So hoping to get this farm done, moved. And if we have time to start cutting at the next farm, great. If not, I think uh, as long as the combine stays in one piece today and uh, we get this done, we'll take that as a win the way the last week was going, so. I'm gonna try to get under him here and see if he can get dumped. I don't think he has much made, but why he goes to the next field, it's nice to get cleaned out. The monitor to say for moisture now, 18. Uh, it went back to average, but it's been anywhere from 18.4 to 20. Probably forgot to mention this. Uh, kept getting cut off there trying to move machinery and get that set up. But the beans are pretty wet right now, uh, around 18% at the lowest. So that's pretty high. Uh, I think what we plan on doing is putting them in a separate bin from what we already harvested. Uh, and then the green bin has a giant fan on it can blow air on it to help dry them down. The bin that we're going to use now, the fan has a heater on it as well. So we're going to throw some warm air at it, some hot air. Not as good as a green dryer, but still it should uh, help quite a bit. So that's the plan for right now. It's going to stink a little bit. Would have been nice to just to keep dumping them in the soybean bin that we've been dumping in because we're gonna have to get it cleaned out right away and make room for our corn up at the house, but that'll be all right, it is what it is. Uh, it's just gonna be uh, one of those years that we just have to do a little extra work, it seems like. I'm walking back to go grab the tool truck because we're done on that side of the farm and it doesn't need to sit over by the road, so gonna grab that and move it to where we're working and uh, be kind of out of the way and a little bit closer to us. Dad yeah, just got across the road and he's opening up that field so I got a few minutes before I need to get the 8100 across. Even then I'm not gonna be driving the 8100 in the field. I'm just gonna park it in the driveway and uh, he can dump on me there. It's too muddy. I don't know if any of you can tell or not by my voice, but I've been sick. So I was just walking across here. I'm kind of huffing and puffing a little bit. Well, he got the truck moved, got the tractor across the road, parked behind me here. And uh, I noticed dad has stopped. So, uh, not sure what's going on. He was out of the combine. I think he just walked back in. I don't, don't see anything moving yet. So, I'm walking over there now. He just turned it back on.
he's starting to get a little pile now we do not have the semi truck here we just have the green cart combine and header cart and actually the two pickups our next problem would be that the cart's gonna get right full for sure um if we get enough on the combine though we're not going to be able to close the bin up uh the grain tank and uh if we can't do that we can't move the combine down the road because it's too tall it's a good problem to have but we weren't expecting that many beans to be out here so we would have to go find the semi truck which is about 10 miles away um and that's going to suck up some time for our evening and then it's going to be dark we really don't like to move the machinery especially in this area at night it's a little too early to tell how much he's gonna make but i'm really hoping that it'll all just fit on the grain cart if not it's a good problem to have i would really like to move the combine out of here yet tonight even the grain cart here uh if it's right full we don't care to move it down the road when it's fully loaded like that i'm still waiting to see what dad wants to do about that if we're gonna move it down the road if it's a couple miles uh we'll move it and just go kind of slower um it's not that big of a deal but uh it's about a 10 mile trip so still waiting to see what we're gonna do about that but he said let's just focus on getting the beans off and worry about moving machinery and everything else when we're done cutting beans well it looks like they all fit on the grain cart i just moved the header cart in here gonna get this unhooked get that tarped we decided that we're going to bring the Kenworth back here. It's just too much weight on the cart to move it that far down the road. Um, real pain in the butt. This is a not fun driveway to get the truck into. But uh, even uh, the header cart here, that would have been a good video for sure. But I don't have a tripod or anything with me. So didn't get to see that. But took me a couple tries, but I got it in here. header carts loaded i'm on the road i set the camera down while i was trying to pull out into traffic but i just turned down the dirt road uh dad's behind me uh he went across the field though to where he can just like jump across uh right onto the dirt road instead of going the quarter mile or whatever it is it's probably not even down the busy pavement so keep the mud off the pavement if we can help it normally don't go this way it's kind of uh, a lot of zigzagging around but uh, we figured stay on the dirt road you can only do about 10 miles an hour with the tracks on the combine so I'm gonna actually wait here and wait for him to actually get across before I just go because I'll be waiting for him at the other end for probably 15 20 15 20 minutes so I'm just gonna wait for him here at the corner. combine and the header cart moved we got chances of rain tonight and uh tomorrow for sure so we decided to 
bring the Kenworth back yet tonight. Uh, get the cart empty. Gray cart's empty now. Dad just took off with the truck. Uh, I'm gonna park this where the work truck's sitting, and then uh, we'll end up moving this tomorrow. Uh, it's getting too dark to move this, so uh, we're just gonna call it a night. I think that's gonna do it for this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.